Hi everyone and welcome back to First the Coffee Crochet. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to make the lemon peel stitch crochet dishcloth. This dishcloth does use, as the name suggests, the lemon peel stitch, which is just a combination of the single crochet and the double crochet stitch. Okay, to make this dishcloth you're going to need 80 yards of a medium weight cotton yarn, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, and stitch markers if you'd like to use them to keep track of your rows. As always, there is a written version of this pattern available on my website, and I will leave a link for that down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started and make this dishcloth. So to get started, you want to make your slip knot, and for the foundation chain, we're going to chain 31. And if you want to change the size of the dishcloth, your initial chain just needs to be an odd number. Okay, so once you have your foundation chain made, for row one, we're going to be doing single crochet all the way down. So to start off, we'll be going into the second chain from the hook. And we're just going to be doing a single crochet. So you'll just insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. We're just going to do this all the way down the chain. You should have 30 stitches of single crochet once you finish row one. Okay, after you've finished row one, for row two, go ahead and chain one, then turn your work. Now starting in this first stitch here, because this doesn't count as a stitch, we're going to do a single crochet stitch. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. Let's just yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two of those loops on your hook, and yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, so in this next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet again, and then we're going to do a double crochet. And that's all the lemon peel stitch is, is just alternating between a single crochet and double crochet. We're going to do this all the way across, just single crochet, then double crochet. And your last stitch of the row should be a double crochet. And you'll repeat this all the way up through row five. So rows two, three, four, and five are just the lemon peel stitch, which is starting with a single crochet. And then alternating double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and your last stitch will be a double crochet. After finishing row five, for the next three rows, we're going to go back into doing just single crochets. So you'll just chain one and turn your work. And we'll be starting in this first stitch and just do a single crochet. And just do a single crochet in each stitch all the way across, and that's for the next three rows. So rows six, seven, and eight are going to be chain one, turn, and then single crochet all the way across. All right after you've completed row eight, going into row nine, we're going to go back into doing the lemon peel stitch. So to start row nine, you're going to chain one, and you'll turn your work. We'll be starting again in this first stitch. You'll just do a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, a double crochet. Alternate that back and forth, single crochet, double crochet, all the way across. You're going to continue this through row 23, doing the lemon peel stitch. Then for rows 24, 25, and 26, you're going to go back into doing the single crochet all the way across. So you'll chain one, and then starting in the first stitch, do a single crochet all the way across the row. And that's up through row 26. Then starting in row 27, go back into doing the lemon peel stitch. So you'll be starting with a chain one, turn your work, then a single crochet in the first stitch of the row, and then double crochet and just alternate that all the way across the row. And you'll continue that through row 31. Then at row 32, you go back and you do one more row of single crochets all the way across. 
So to start row 32, you'll chain one and then in the first stitch, do a single crochet and then do single crochet all across the row. And once you're done with row 32, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends. And that is how you make the lemon peel crochet dishcloth. Now, if you do like making crochet dishcloths, be sure to check out my playlist where I have many other crochet dishcloth patterns that are available for free. Thanks for watching, and please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified as new patterns come out.